hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you semolina upma using spinach usually we prepare semolina upma using vegetables like carrots potatoes and onions beans and so on and also another way of preparing semolina upma is preparing tomato bath but this is also another way of preparing semolina upma using spinach spinach is a very good source of vitamin a and iron content generally doctors are also recommending to take green leafy vegetables as much as possible in our diet we can eat spinach in this way by preparing semolina upma everyone will love especially kids will love that and you can also include in the lunch box this item because spinach is there and onions and nuts will be there so it's a complete source of food for the kids after seeing my recipe you can also try it at home and let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not and let me know if any modifications are to be made regarding my videos the ingredients for making suji rava spinach upma are properly washed and cut spinach one onion small onion two chillies small ginger piece we cut into pieces cashew nuts and ground nuts chana dal and cumin seeds and mustard seeds Keep a pan. Pour oil into it. Now add cumin seeds and mustard seeds. Now add. Another. Let it fry. Now we add cashew nuts and ground nuts. Let them also fry. Now we add ginger pieces. Add them fry a little. Now add onion, curry leaf, and chilli. Add them also fry a little. Add little salt. After the onions are fried a little, now add spinach. Only to add uh, much salt in this. I added only a very little salt. Nowadays, uh, doctors are saying not to use more salt because the salt gets accumulated in the bones. The sodium gets accumulated in the joints, and that is the reason for the joint problems. The doctors are saying like that. So better to reduce the salt content. Keep a lid and let the spinach boil for some time. I am taking suji with this cup. You have to pour three cups of water with this cup. Now add suji. 
While adding suji, we have to continuously stir so that the lumps will not form. Otherwise, the lumps will form and uh, it won't be nice. Now, let the suji boil in water. If you take it hot hot, it will be very nice. And we sprinkle some lime juice on the okma so that it will be very healthy and also very tasty. Some children and some um, elders uh, sprinkle sugar, but I don't recommend sugar because it's not good for health. Better use lime juice because it is a source of citrus and it gives resistance power. And in winter, we have to take citrus fruits, no? That's why I recommend lime. It's done already. Very colorful, green, green, and tasty, healthy. As I use cashew nuts and ground nuts and ginger, curry leaves, onions, and spinach. This is very healthy source of breakfast item. You can prepare. The kids will love it very much. You can even give to them as a lunch box item. I have taken it to the plate. Now sprinkle some lime juice. And enjoy this tasty breakfast. Hope you like my recipe. You also try my recipe and let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And please encourage me to do more videos like this. Thanks for watching my channel.